In this video, I'm going to show you how to change the orientation of a single page in Microsoft Word, just like this. As you can see, I have changed the orientation of my third page to landscape, while keeping pages 1, 2 and 4 as portrait. So stick around and I'll show you how I did this. And if you find this video useful, please consider giving it a like. It really does help support the channel. I currently have Word open. And just a note that I'm using Word 365 Pro Plus, which may differ to the version you are using. In my document, I have four pages with some dummy text entered. As shown in the intro, I want to change the orientation of my third page to landscape, but keep the other pages in portrait orientation as they currently are. Now, there are a few ways that you can go about doing this. The first way is to do with sections and section breaks. If you don't know what sections are, they are just as the name suggests different sections of a document. For example, if you have an introduction in your document, that could be one section. And if you have a table on a page, that could be another section. The way Word adds sections is through section breaks. These breaks in the document are just marks where one section ends. Now usually you cannot see where section breaks are. But if you go to home and click on the show hide button, you can see where the page and section breaks are. Currently in my document, I do not have any section breaks. I only have page breaks. These are a bit like section breaks, but instead they mark the point where a page ends. So what I want to do is to mark the sections so Word can use this information when I come to change the orientation of a single page. For example, I'll scroll down to the end of my second page and I'll click the location just after the page break. Then I will insert a section break by going to layout, breaks, and then under section breaks, I will select the next page option. Now you can see that there is a section break that occurs at the end of my second page. I will now repeat this by adding a section break at the end of my third page. So now I have three sections in this document. The first section contains pages one and two. The second section is just page three. And the third section is just page four. So what I can do now is to change the orientation of a section independently from the others. I will click on page three, which is now a completely separate section in my document. Then I will go to layout, orientation, and I will select the landscape option. Notice that the orientation of just page three has changed the landscape, whereas the other pages in my document remain in portrait mode. And this is all because of the different sections. If I didn't have any sections in my document, then all of my pages would have turned to landscape. So there is a slightly different way you can change the orientation of a single page in Word. For this example, I will go back to my first page. Say I want to change the orientation of the first page to landscape. To do this, I will highlight all of the content on the page. Then I will go to layout. And do you see the little arrow in the corner of the page setup section? We'll click on this and this should open up the page setup window. Now what I want to do is change the orientation to landscape. And the important bit is that you need to change the what the apply to menu states. Otherwise, all of your pages in the document will become landscape. I will change this to selected text and click OK. Now the first page is in landscape, whereas page two is back to portrait. Another tip is that if you want all of the pages below a certain point to be a different orientation, then when you open up the page setup window, you need to change the drop down menu to be this point forward. Then anything below the point where you clicked on the document will be changed to the orientation of your choice. And that brings me to the end of this tutorial. In this video, you have learned how to change the orientation of a single page to landscape while keeping the other pages in portrait in Microsoft Word. If you found this video useful, please leave a like. It really does help support the channel. If you've got a question, pop it down in the comments below. Also, consider subscribing for more weekly tutorials.